And how easy is it for women uh, or children and children to have access to legal aid, to have legal, you know, if they're poor, uh, then what? I'm sorry to say this, but uh, uh, law is only for the rich and, and for the elite. Uh, there's no pro bono culture of lawyering in Sri Lanka. Even I have a problem in retaining volunteers in my organization mm -hmm. because so many uh, pass out as lawyers every year, but they are very, very mercenary. The first thing they ask me is, uh, Madam, we like to work with you, but how much are you going to pay me? I, I know money is necessary. It's yeah. important to earn something, but uh, they don't have a sense of duty. When I was questioned in the US, why, why are you doing this? I said, we always speak of human rights, but we never speak of duty. Mahatma Gandhi said, I learned from my wise but illiterate mother that all rights to be deserved and preserved came from duty. Well done. So we should have a sense of duty and to give back to society something. And there is no uh, volunteerism in Sri Lanka that you get in other countries. Students take a gap year to volunteer. People yeah. who retire volunteer. I've heard people saying, oh, I'm waiting till I retire to volunteer in a school, to volunteer in a social service organization. You don't get that sort of thing here. You don't get that culture. That culture of altruism in Sri Lanka. But why do you think that is? Because we are not taught uh, in school. So it's not, we, we, it's we not inculcated it, into it's the system? Not into the system. When we are children, we should be given projects. That's how I, I, I became like this, because my father was a human rights lawyer. And he used to say always, you have to give back to society something. And he used to quote from Kennedy and say, don't ask what the country has, is going to do for you. you. You have a duty to do something for the community, for the people in your country.